So I've been doing some experiments with this um, Adafruit Feather DVI board. It was all going really well until there was a slightly strange smell and then it stopped working. So uh, one of the symptoms, if we um, plug in USB supply, then what I can see, got five volts coming in and on the 3.3 volt line, we have nothing at all. Now, I've looked at the schematic. This chip here is the voltage regulator. This should be the output pin, and uh, there's nothing on that, but we are definitely getting five volts coming into it. It's slightly awkward to probe because of the battery connector. But yeah, 4.9 volts. Now the enable pin is pin two. This should be held high, and that's pretty much zero volts. So I suspect this IC might be a bit dead. Let's do a bit more probing. Beeper mode. So what we can see if we probe the 3.3 volt rail is we've got a dead short. And if we look at this IC, if we look at the enable pin, that's also a dead short. So that leads me to think this IC has gone a bit wonky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that and I'll try just powering it with an external 3.3 um, volt supply, see if the board springs back into life. Um, it's quite a lot of plastic to cover up here, so I'll get a bit of capped on tape and do that, and then get the hot air gun out and remove that chip. So hopefully that's uh, nicely protected. Uh, let's get the hot air gun on and remove this um, IC. So, so quick plug to PCBWay, PCB who's sponsored the, the channel. channel. So, so I've currently got my new ESP Spectrum, Spectrum boards out with them at the moment, being manufactured, and I'm just playing around with uh, options for output to a bigger screen. So, so thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring the channel. Looking forward to getting the new boards back. Okay, that was fairly painless. Um, that's good. Right, let's uh, let's see if our shorts have actually disappeared. So, let's get the multimeter back in. So let's see on our 3.3 volt. Now the shorts gone. That's good. And on the enable pin, shorts also gone. So what I'm going to try and do, we've got this nice little uh, voltage regulator here, 3.3 volts. So what I'll do is I'll try this on some breadboard and see if we can power the 3.3 line externally. Well, that actually worked. That's, uh, that's very pleasing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, um, it's a bit annoying having to have this on breadboard. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just wire up some little wires to this and then um, solder it onto the board. So let's get that done. Oh, hot. That's surprisingly hot. Let's try that again. Okay, I've soldered some wires on, uh, not the uh, neatest soldering job. Now we just need to connect these on to the appropriate pins on our, um, on our board. So let's give that a go. not bad that should work um, let's check see if we get 3.3 volts where we expect it or did we just get magic smoke 3.3 volts brilliant plug this in and see if it actually does work okay the board's plugged in and have a look at this there we go DVI output working nicely. 
Brilliant, it's fixed. So one question is, what actually killed the board in the first place? So I'm beginning to suspect that it was this um, USB hub. So I've been using this to uh, hook up a keyboard to the, um, to the feather, and it does behave extremely erratically when it's plugged in. So I think I might uh, find a different USB hub for these experiments because I can't really afford to keep blowing up boards 